Um, I come from a long line of California physicians, uh, raised in the Bay Area. Uh, my grandfather actually immigrated from the UK as a physician, and then my mother and father were also physicians. And the unique thing about me and this family, I actually have one brother, and uh, my mother, father, and brother uh, graduated um, for undergraduate and graduate school at Stanford. However, I went to Berkeley. I just wanted you all to know that. Um, uh, as the bio says, I, I'm a pediatrician and always a, a devoted pediatrician. So my, my challenge generally has been towards kids and kids' health. Um, and what you could do, especially in tropical disease, I started very early on, right out of medical school. I took a fellowship in India, um, came back and started working for the CDC um, for 21 years, ultimately. And for those of you who are involved in the current conflicts in the world, the reason I went to CDC was the public health services draft deferrable. And uh, all the physicians were being drafted at that time. And I was moving to Canada. And the head of infectious diseases at LA County Hospital said, why don't you go to CDC for two years and you can do your military service. I did that and stayed for 21, ultimately dealing with outbreaks all around the world. Uh, uh, I have here just a few uh, that uh, we dealt with. And then in the middle of my career in 81 comes AIDS. And as Tom mentioned, you can get in band played on and see that horror story as it, as it unfolded. And then I retired in 1992, recognizing the only way we we're going to stop the AIDS epidemic was to have a vaccine. And Genentech was the lead um, in the uh, uh, world at that time of, of uh, working on vaccines. Started that process at Genentech and then saw that Genentech wasn't going to go anywhere because it didn't compete and I will, in a business sense, and I will get into that. And so we thought we'd be so smart to fund our own company. Um, uh, although I didn't mention there was a, there's an international AIDS vaccine that we first started the nonprofit side and uh, I worked with a group to start what ultimately became the International AIDS Vaccine in Initiative in New York, which is one of the leaders in making AIDS vaccine for the not-for-profit over the years. Uh, but I thought I could do it better in the for-profit and we did very well uh, over the last uh, uh, decade or more uh, uh, at Genentech and at VaxGen. Uh, but you'll see we've had very, uh, really not very good results from our uh, development of the vaccine is going to require a lot more money, a lot more time, and it's just not going to be done in the private sector. And so now we're developing uh, the new not-for-profit. 